What's going on, y'all? Burr Bala back with another country western reaction from our man, Mr. Coulter Wall. <laughs> of course they gonna put this man in the middle of a back pasture. It says right down here, live from the back pasture. And they gonna put a building there that looks like it's been there for about 700 years. This is the most culture wall style video he's done yet. <laughs> this is perfect. My name is Bob Fudge. And I was born in Texas. Lampasas County. Back during the war. Small parks and Comanches. That voice. Finally, he's got him a little beard going on. He's growing it out. He's getting a little bit older. Y'all let me know how old he is in the comment. He's probably like 17, 18, who knows. Uh, but man, as soon as he drops that voice, it's just, every time it's so surprising to me. But I don't know if you could tell, it's, uh, it's thundering in the background, too. It's just like the perfect vibe for this dude. Took most of my family. Left my poor mother. My brothers and me. So I headed north. To ride for the blockers. They were contracting herds for the Montana range in the spring of the year 82. We left old Lamb Passes with 2,000 steers for the little big horn. It's the most country song I've ever heard in my life. Trying to think of a country song that I've heard in my life that's more country than this. Don't exist. <laughs> this man's talking about the steer and and the cattle and the smallpox and the war and whew. So he still got that old jankety guitar that's still buzzing every time he hits that A string. Just bah, bah. <laughs> and I love that. I love that he's not playing some $7,000 guitar. He probably could afford it with all the uh, success he's had with his music. But man, he's just played two chords and we just learning about Bob Fudge. Crossing our trails There were many great rivers All to be crossed not a bridge would we find in the cold rolling waters and the wild plunging cattle there was many a young man took leave of his life It's so smooth. And you know those first videos where I heard him kind of playing with the kick drum? He was really, you know, forcing that big, bad voice. But now he knows he has this big voice and he knows he ain't got to show off. So he's just, he's in his lane and his voice is huge, but it's also smooth with a lot of control. And man, he's just a great, singer and we're learning that he's a great songwriter too well we crossed that dawn store into the indian nation 
saw the blood on the rocks Those cowboys that died Then it's on the Fort Dodge On the Arkansas River Where gamblers and whores All welcomed us there In the great snow-capped peaks They were on our left side now For many a mile In a great silent land when I first saw Montana. I love how he's using so much nature and uh, he's telling the story of things that are happening. It's kind of like if you've ever read The Lord of the Rings. You remember that first book in The Lord of the Rings? Where Mr. Tolkien talked about the dead gum trees for like 300 pages in a row? To me, he talked a little bit too much about nature. I could have done with a little bit less. I got a little bit bored. Maybe it was in the second book. One of them books, it just got a little too detailed for me, talking about every leaf. But this man, he gives you just the right amount of nature plus story at the same time. It's great. I knew I would love her. I would ride her great ranges. Till the end of my days. <laughs> I just love how he goes up, days, and he's singing so low, like it's not high at all. But he's just living down, down, ba -dum, da -dum. in this such a low range. Anything that goes up just a little bit feels like he's singing in the rafters, but all. All the songs like way down here. So he's walking down rivers. And then he goes up a little bit and it's like, oh man, it's so good. Ooh. She's all cut and dry now. And the trails are all gone I've been to Yellowstone Park In an automobile And I can still see them swimming Boys, I can still hear them running I came off of the trail when cowboys was king My name is Bob Fudge Can we just talk about the name Bob Fudge for a second? Bob Fudge I love that name <laughs> I, think the, I made up this name Burt Byler just off of how I liked how it sounded How it rolled off the tongue, the tongue. Bob Fudge is another one of them names that just, Bob Fudge, just sounds right, sounds like a cowboy. I died in Montana. Y'all knew Bob Fudge was gonna die. I ain't never listened to a Culture Wall song where somebody ain't dying. They all dying. All these country songs, they all got to, somebody's got to die. Lots of people got to die. Um, I'll be honest. I'm a Mississippi boy born in New Orleans on Fat Tuesday at Mardi Gras. I don't know a lot about ranching. I'm from, a, I'm from the river. I'm from the swamp. I just don't know much about cattle, steer. Uh, so every time I hear these culture wall songs, I just, 
He's singing about stuff that I have no idea about, but a great songwriter like him can talk about something that we may not have in common, but make you feel what they're talking about, make you get lost in the story. Although I ain't never touched a steer, or I ain't never branded a cattle, whatever all that's called. <laughs> It just immediately takes you to this place of a cowboy uh, traveling all over the place and going all over and getting into all kind of stuff. And you just imagine what this Bob Fudge character was actually like. And it's just such a cool way to tell a story. So it's an understatement to say that a lot of folks have recommended this song. Y'all love this song. So thank y'all, Dalton, Ja Crispy Man, Noah, Ryan, Brett, Gus, Sean, all of y'all for thank, thank you, I appreciate you. So thank y'all so much for recommending me this video. I appreciate y'all so much. If you made it this far, you're one of the good folks or you just love Culture Wall and this song, Bob Fudge, either way is fine with me. Smash that like button for me for the love of Culture Wall. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if this is content that you're into. I'm a musician myself, so you can check out some of my music in the links below. I've got a new single coming out on February 12th, which is my birthday. I can't wait for y'all to hear it. And I'll see you somewhere on down the range.